Hello my soccer universe. The Copa America ends with another Argentina triumph. They are now record champions, like Spain are now record champions of the Euros. However, Argentina have won it 16 times. The Copa America is of course a much older tournament. However, it also has to be said, this final could have well ended in disaster, especially off the pitch. The final had to be late for 80 minutes because of organizational failings with ticketless fans making it to the stands. I will definitely have to mention that too. But for now, I want to focus on Argentina, who, as I said, are triple champions now. It is partly due probably to their relatively soft schedule. Colombia definitely did get tired in the final. However, triple champions they are. And Messi now, at the end of his career, wins finally trophies for Argentina. Three in a row, which puts him now well above Cristiano Ronaldo, who he was chasing after he had won the Euros with Portugal, a title that arguably is bigger than the one that Messi won with the Copa America. But now Messi three, Ronaldo only a single one. However, this time Messi was not a main contributor, you have to say. He actually went off injured and given his tears, we have to ask ourselves, was this the last time we saw Messi in an Argentina shirt? I guess the future will tell. Overlook is, of course, that this was also the final game for Angel Di Maria. A player that, when he played with Argentina and they had Messi in addition, Argentina were majorly competitive. I still argue that would Angel Di Maria have played the 2014 World Cup final? Argentina would have won that World Cup over Germany. I'm quite certain about that because he was the other outstanding player that Argentina needed. As for Colombia, they don't have a whole lot of clout in South America. It has to be said when it comes just to titles. This was only, I think, the second ever final, I think, or at least the one that I remember. And yeah, the one time that they won it, it was a tournament where neither Argentina nor Brazil were taking part. So it would have really helped for Colombia for the credibility and for their insane fan base, a very passionate fan base to get Colombia over to a title. And you know, also validated a little bit James Rodriguez. However, this Colombia team have now suffered the first defeat in a long time. I think they had 28 wins before suffering this defeat, but I think there's more to come from them. Maybe we'll see a good Colombia team at the next World Cup. Will not be the first time that the Colombia team goes in with high expectations to a tournament in the United States. Didn't work out last time. Let's hope it works out better this time. But before we go into the final, let's talk the third place matchup. You know, kind of the game that nobody really wants to play, but that usually gives us entertaining games. And so it was true here as well when Canada faced Colombia. Two teams that definitely had to make up something from their semifinal defeats. Uruguay, of course, did not receive any bans yet. And ahead of the game, Marcelo Bielsa went on to a major rant one that yeah I think I agree on many things that he says there and I hope that future tournaments will be better but I said already in previous videos this tournament was made for the almighty dollar and not much else and therefore organizational chaos was happening all around he complained about you know the training pitches the pitches in the stadiums then the fact the uh, organization that the families were not separated from the other fans you know and 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 it got quite emotional and i would even say the game was quite emotional it was again played in charlotte bentancur gave uruguay an early lead however canada was overall the better team Kone in the 22nd minute gets an equalizer after bombito assist and then you thought that canada had snatched the winner late when jonathan david puts them ahead 2-1 uh, luis suarez came on Missed a mega chance in stoppage time, but he stayed in the action. The ball comes back, he managed to place it over to him, he's not offside. It's 2-2 and it goes straight to penalties. And in the penalty shootout, Canada seemingly had the advantage by going first. And Jonathan David and Bombito actually converted the first two penalties, but so did Valverde and Bentancur. You see already quite big names on the Uruguay side. However, Kone sees his save, the Erasqueta puts Uruguay to a lead. Genier makes it 3-3, Luis Suarez converts his and then Davis puts his on the crossbar and Uruguay win a third place. I think it's the right result. Uruguay were definitely one of the highlights of this tournament and them going out with the medal of this one seemed kind of right. Let's go over to the disaster that was the final in Miami and I really have to first focus on what was happening surrounding this final. I said in the intro, the final had to be late because ticketless fans made their way into the stadium. And this was scenes that we had already at the previous Euros final where that this also happened. The problem back then was that there were seats available because of COVID restrictions, not to condone this in any way. Uh, this time the stadium was sold out, of course, and there were people in the end that played major bucks. 
that could not get into the stadium. And I think the major failing was that first there was a rush onto the gates and there was no buffer zone where you can get in, which is now usual for major events. And especially in the stadium in Miami, I mean, that's a parking lot where in the middle there sits a stadium. No one without a ticket should be able to even enter that area. There was a rush where a barrier broke down that could have resulted in a stampede. You know, scary scenes, absolutely scary scenes. Needless to say, there needs to be a major in investigation of that one. The fingers are pointed at the Commonwealth, Bowl, but also, you know, the United States and the organizer, you are having a World Cup in two years. And yes, FIFA will probably do a much better job there, but it also has to come down that this is now repeating. This is not only that we have this in South America, we also have this in Europe. And it always comes down that the fans are not treated as customers, but, you know, as people who just watch there where you can get the money off. This has to change there as well. As I said, they had to take everyone out. And you know, the inventiveness of the people, I mean, it's the other thing. Why do you get the idea that you don't have a ticket, but you're gonna rush the stadium? I mean, this is also something that has to be addressed in what age are we living, honestly? Personally, I would never get the idea. Final had to be late for 80 minutes. Get everyone out, get everyone in again. Honestly, that already is crazy. The final should have been delayed, if you were to ask me. Once the final started, Colombia had the upper hand for most of the time. Colombia pressed Argentina, but you know, this was not to the Argentina's dislike. This is a hardened team that knows how to win games. They weathered the storm. Yes, there was an early chance for Colombia that hit the outside of the post, but also saw Argentina got their chances in the end. Again, it was relatively tight. If you look at the game stats that I'm pull pulling up, you see that the overall statistics are probably leaning more towards Colombia, more attempts, more possession, more passes and all that kind of stuff. However, when I look at expected goals, it's Argentina that has more and Argentina that eventually got the goal, but we're not there yet. Argentina could level it. There was one scary scene in the first half where Messi Simeone got injured, but he played on. However, in the second half, without any opponent's interference, he clearly injures himself, has to come off under tears. And I said already open it. Does this mean that now Messi has played or he knew that he has been playing his final game for Argentina. I don't know. It was very weird to see. It was also weird to say that you know Nico Gonzalez comes on. Argentina overall looked a little bit better and had got control of the game. Or was it because Colombia got tired? Because the Colombian playing style is intense and their coach did not make any changes until very, very, very late. Probably too late. If their changes happened earlier, Colombia maybe could have nicked this in regulation. He banked on overtime, but in overtime, while again Colombia initially was a little bit better, they ran out of steam and then it's Los Celso playing a beautiful pass onto Lautaro Martinez, who had come on in overtime for Julian Alvarez and he scores his fifth goal of the tournament. Finally, he scores a big goal in a big game. Top scorer of Serie A, a player that despite playing for the wrong club, I think I have a pretty high opinion of and that he can show it in Argentina shirt. Shows me also that I think the future for Argentina, even without Messi, is not so bad. There was nothing coming from Colombia and in the end it is the three old guys, Di Maria, Messi and Otamendi, walking in front of their teammates and lifting the Copa America trophy. And now of course the questions will be asked, who was better, Spain from 2008 to 2012 or is it this Argentina side that won the Copa America? in 21 and 24 and in between the World Cup in 22. So doing the same thing, probably even a shorter amount of time. To me, it's not even a question. Spain was just outstanding. This was one of the best, if not the best national team I have ever witnessed in my life. This Argentina team is very Argentina-like. Hardened, rough, can win games, have some great players, wonderful players in there as well. But overall, the history will remember more this Spain team than this Argentina team, although they gave us the highlight of the last World Cup final and with Messi finally lifting the World Cup. So the Copa America is over. As I said, next tournament in the United States is actually not the World Cup, it's the Club World Cup. Yeah, we'll see about that. I think the organization needs to be looked at. And yes, there was a lot of coming from Conma Bowl and you know, there's some finger pointing to his Conma Bowl, but you know, the on-site organization is still in America and involves also American law enforcement. Something needs to be done better there. That's for sure. In any case, let me know your thoughts on this Copa America, on the winner. Do you think that Argentina is better than Spain? Please argue with me in the comments. I don't think it's even a contest, but yeah, that's my personal opinion. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. Talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe.
Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.